Hi all, welcome to Wake It. Can Lutiol in reverse grey hair? The shocking science explained. Alright, real talk. Grey hair. Some call it wisdom highlights. Others call it stress received from life. If I told you that science may have found a way to slow it down or even reverse it and the answer might be just hiding in your kitchen or this cup of tea. So why does hair turn grey? The science you need to know is the deal. Your hair color is in some magic. It's chemistry. Your follicles are like tiny factories producing melanin, the pigment that gives your hair its color. As we age, these little pigment factories, melanocytes, start losing their workforce. Their backup crew, melanocyte stem cells, either get lazy or disappear completely. And guess what? No melanocytes, no pigment. One of the key players in this drama, a protein family called endothelium. These little guys are like VIP pass for keeping your hair color. But with age, endothelins are depleted. Their receptors stop working and boom, your hair turns gray. So what if we can bring back the lost communication between the cells? Enter luteolin, the antioxidant powerhouse. Scientists are now testing to rescue your hair pigment from early retirement. Researchers at Nagoya University tested for three antioxidants, luteolin, hesperitin, and diosmetin. The winner, luteolin. When applied topically, one person solution or taken orally 0.5 mg per gram of body weight per day. The mice held on to their natural hair color longer. So what's happening there? The Luteolin blocks oxidative stress, protects melanocyte stem cells and keeps endothelin receptors from shutting down. It's like a bodyguard to your hair color. Take it a step further. Scientists intentionally sped up the graying process using a chemical called tertiary butyl hydroperoxide. It's nothing but oxidative stress in a bottle. But the mice given luteolin, the hair stayed dark. That means oxidative stress is a huge factor in graying and luteolin is the antidote. Okay, we are not mice. So what does this mean for us? Luteolin is already in foods like celery, carrot, chamomile tea, and even some herbs like thyme. But let's be real. Are you eating enough celery to turn back the clock on gray hair? Probably not. Luckily, you don't have to go for celery all day. Luteolin supplements are already in the market. Here is what current research suggests for luteolin supplementation. Typical dose 100 to 300 mg per day in supplement form. Capsules, powders, or part of flavonoid blends. Take it with food containing healthy fats for better absorption. Could this be your new hair secret? Well, science is still testing it, but the results look promising. Luteolin might not just help with hair color. Researchers are exploring whether it can also help with balding, skin aging, brain health and even inflammation. It's been linked to better memory, reduce chronic inflammation and even neuroprotection against Alzheimer's. While we wait for luteolin hair serums, it might already be a solid anti-aging powerhouse. So, is grey hair a thing of the past? Not yet, but science is definitely on the case. And if luteolin keeps proving itself, we might just be one step closer to making grey hair optional.